In this video, I have recreated Great Scott's emergency phone charger, but in a simpler way. When I am turning it, the phone charges. So let's get to the build. Okay, so the first thing I did was to see how other people has created this project because I don't want to copy them. Then what's the need of making another video? Then I found two great channels, Electroboom and Great Scott. Electroboom just converted a emergency hand cracked light to a phone charger. And Great Scott uses the power bank module to charge the lithium ion battery via his hand cracked charger and then charge the phone. And also in the end he made it very bulky. And I wanted to achieve the same results without the use of any power bank module or lithium ion cell. So this is the reason I have recreated this project and wow what a fancy 3D printer he has. You can see it's a slight bulky for a hand cracked phone charger to look like this. <laughs> and other people just have copied blindly this video. They all use the same power bank module. So let's see how I made it. So hello engineers. To make this project I used a DC geared bow motor. The motor used inside it is the same one which you have in your toys. But there is a gearbox which will reduce the speed but increase the torque. That's what we need. And after that I thought of using a bug boost converter. Because I thought this will output a very low voltage. So we can use this voltage booster to increase our voltage to 5 volts. And then connect a 5 volt voltage regulator to ensure a constant 5 volts. But after checking the output from the motor, it's 10 volts. Can you imagine? So I said this thing, fuck off. Hmm. So now we can just use a 7805 voltage regulator to output constant 5 volts without a problem. Hee <laughs> This project will be gonna smaller. Without the need of any voltage booster or power bank module like shown in other videos. And after that we will need a type A female USB port. Why it's called a female USB port? LOL. Or you can directly use your phone's data cable. And we will also need a 100 microfarad 25 volts capacitor to smooth the 5 volt output. It's mm, optional. And we will also need some wires, of course. <laughs> so let's get to the assembling. Here I am trying to check the polarity of the motor. That which pin will provide positive or negative on a clockwise or anti-clockwise turn. So I am using a simple LED to determine this. On rotating it clockwise, the upper pin is the positive one and the bottom one is negative one. You may have a different case, so be sure to check this. Nevertheless, you can always use a diode in parallel to protect your phone. According to that polarity, I am connecting here the negative and positive wires. And after that, I attached a capacitor in parallel configuration, the negative to the negative pin and positive to the positive pin. And then I fixed the voltage regulator on top of it using hot glue. <laughs> Jugadu hot glue. I have used this in every project. I don't like to spend on extra things. Why will I purchase one when I can make one? <laughs> this voltage regulator will provide a constant 5 volts irrespective of the 10 volts fluctuation that we will create while rotating the motor. So this is a must or you will blow up your phone's charger. I mean phone's battery <laughs> and the connections are pretty simple I will not provide any schematic for this poor project the wires coming from the motor will connect to the input and the base of the voltage regulator it's pretty simple and after connecting this grab your female port <laughs> <laughs> didn't mean that sorry sticking it on side part of it Using our beloved hot glue. Some great men said you can't make projects without hot glue. Well said. <laughs> Believe me, you will have no problem with your connections. And if, then comment down below. I have connected the negative of the port to the base of the voltage regulator and the positive to the output pin. The base is the shared base. And the connections are done. Let's make a handle for it. And now nah, I don't have that fancy 3D printer like Great Scott. But I can make it. 
I heated the pen's cover and then attach it to my motor's handle. I mean motor shaft and again heated it to bend it to the desired shape. Uh, fire. <laughs> Do this in the supervision of an adult or you will get fire in your home. Then don't blame me. <laughs> you can see it's a pretty solid handle. I am turning it and it's working pretty well. It takes not much effort to turn it. So let's test it. And also no pain no gain. And here we have our data cable from which we can charge our phone. If you look closely then I have tied a rubber here. So that you can see properly that I have not charged it from somewhere else as other YouTubers do. So here I am testing it on my MI phone. Basically it will work on any phone. So here it is showing 88% charge. And nah it will not go 89%. My charger doesn't have that much power. Matlab, this is for emergency use. And according to my calculations, it will take around 10 hours for this to charge my phone completely. And approximately just 6 minutes to charge 1%. I told you earlier, it's for emergency use. Other channels who have made this charger has achieved the same performance. So, I have connected it to my phone. You can see it carefully there are no wires going from anywhere i am just charging from my hand cracked phone charger you can see as as i am turning my charger the phone is charging it's pretty smooth not much effort needed i can show you one more time you can see it clearly that whenever i am turning it you can also hear the sound it makes and from this charger you can charge anything that requires usb power your smart band, power bank or handset. The time here is 10 hours because my phone's battery is 3000 mAh capacity. That's a lot. But for a smart band, it will charge pretty quick. Everything is in front of you. I'm not using any tricks as other YouTubers do. So, like for that. Comment down below how will I made my charger. Will you try to make it? And if you don't believe me, let me show you once again. It's fucking wallah. Bye. <laughs>